my round started within five minutes of the other round ending. What what happened? Uh, not a great one, but it's good enough on the play. It's kind of cool I get to do everything in the right order. Please just give me another Reckless Cohort or a Colostra Healer. Ooh. Ooh. So this attacks for three, that attacks for two and a drain, so this is better. Messed up, lost a click. Lost a click of my life there. If I just play this and this is the only target. Is that how that works? I'm maybe forgetting something. No! That's just the worst for me. Um... I think I'm supposed to Chasm Guide just attack with Cohort. So I'm, I'm fine trading Cohort for a 2-1 Flying. Not okay trading Healer or 3-2 for a 2-1 Flying, though. <laughs> That's a problem. What's my line here? Yep, my line is just getting two for one. That three damage was hiding for a second. I was kind of concerned. May it's There's actually a non-zero chance that that should have gone upstairs, but I think Vile Aggregate is just way too good to ignore. <laughs> yeah, my opponent's just played two unbeatable cards, and I'm just super far behind, actually, despite being up 14 life. It's really weird. Interesting. Well, my opponent sitting on open mana makes me want to point that there, so they get min value out of the out number that they bluffed last turn. That's fine. Oh, my opponent could have sure struck and saved their vile aggregate and sacked the token. That's what was going on last turn. Well, definitely got a, glad I did not get these in there because these cards are going to be key to me winning this game if I can get out of top deck mode against my opponent's four cards in hand. Yeah, they've used three cards. That ends very well for me, actually. Um. <sighs> I 
I think I'm supposed to kill the land because my opponent's been missing land drops. And hasn't been doing a lot. So I think I'm supposed to attack them on that axis. Even though the one damage is one less rally trigger, I'm not horribly concerned. Don't be another Sky Spawn or a Vile Aggregate. That I might beat. Ooh, bats off to ya. That's disappointing that I yep, got punished. So I'm probably going to get uh, 5 damaged. Is that an instant? No, that's a sorcery. Yeah. If that's the snap attack, I'm definitely getting uh, ingest processed. Merc Strider? That's fine. Should save that to brawl with the flyer, I think. Not blocking. Didn't need to end stuff that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just runner, runner, perfects. Jeez. That went south for my opponent real fast. Their deck looks very good, too. So I probably need to get a little lower to the ground. I do like Sure Strike because it breaks through X5. Um, don't like any of these. I don't think this is a Myers Malice matchup. Maybe it did. My opponent played Vile Aggregate, Sure Strike, Eldrazi Sky Spawn, uh, Merc Strider, and Benthic Infiltrator. I think I like the Sure Strike here. Not a big Ondu Champion fan. Nightwatch is just better. These make up the core of the deck. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to cut one of these instead of the Malice on the draw? I can see that. Uh, 14 creatures. Malice is technically a creature. I don't, see, the problem here is that this is just too few creatures. So I think I'm just supposed to just cut the sure strike. Because I, I, I'm still a double outnumber deck. Maybe I'm supposed to have the Ondu Champion on the draw instead of a Reckless Cohort. I like that better. Bigger creature against my opponent's 1-4s and 1-1s. Sounds better. Harder to vile aggregate. Though I guess I did get to kill that card. Oh yeah. Claustry healer all day, every day. The card's just so good. You just don't beat it. Just does like... You know, it's just... Two drop that just drain five, gains five. Or, well, drain five implies gain five, but you get the picture. Uh, that's going to make this game a little more difficult, probably. It's going to connect once, so I don't think that there's any point in stopping it without number at any point.
kind of want to... I've got this feeling that this is what I'm supposed to do here. I think that if I can cut off after the first ingest, given my opponent's draw, I'm okay. Make them actually choose what they want to do. I don't think touch is like the best card either. That's a reasonable... Gosh, why does this card also have ingest? Well, I guess I'm kind of glad about the sequence I took. Building up to a pretty nice out number. Don't be Merc Strider. Okay. That I might be able to handle. Yep. Land. Perfect. So I get to Assassin. I think I just outnumbered the... Oh my gosh, how did I misclick that? That was horrible. Uh, I'm probably just going to... Eh. Not necessarily lose, because now, if I miss my land drop next turn, I can still double outnumber the 3-5, which isn't the worst play in the world. Pretty embarrassing, though. Okay. The second main herald. Uh, I think I'm just supposed to single card kill that. This might actually end up better. It just happened that my opponent didn't have anything, like, super devastating to do with the uh, Vile Agri at that turn. Like, that could have gone really bad, but... It's actually going okay. This this is a pretty sweet combo in action, this trio. Force the double block on the Death Touch. I like it. Okay, one of those has to die next turn, I hope. Jeez, my opponent's deck is delightfully good. Okay, well that probably actually has to die first. Um... I would like you to discard two of your cards. Sure. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good cryptic cruiser. Yeah, I could not let that live. These are a little more... My opponent's going to get to the 7 mana or whatever at some point anyways. If they have the 7-8, I'm dead. If they have 7-5, I might be able to beat it. It's kind of have to hope they don't have either. Super weird board states. That misclick cost me three damage that turn. This would be dead. This would be out of my hand. I actually think I'm in a better spot now. Which is super weird because I misclicked. Um, yeah, I'm just supposed to block here. That's fine. Perfectly fine. I was actually wrong. I should have played the five drop. Don't see the need to outnumber just yet. 
I was just like excited about maximizing my ability to outnumber here. Just taking three a turn is fine. I'll actually kill something relevant at some point. Kind of like burning the out number on the damaged herald here. Uh, no, that's actually wrong. I should burn the out number there and just have a crazy alpha strike this turn. Or, you know, bait the spell shrivel. Thank you! Okay. Well, these two, I'm pretty sure, are supposed to attack. I don't think anything else does. How did... Oh, the spell shrivel. It's kind of confused as to how my outnumber left the game. My opponent has so much mana. One mana spell shrivel is pretty obscene. Don't be rune processor. Uh, well, it's not rune processor. But it's almost as bad for me. Is that costing that cost three mana and it made three mana? That's so cheating. I call shenanigans. Well Don't think I have any valid attacks with the death touch creatures. The ideal draw steps in a row are like my third claustro healer and then something else. Glad that second out number was still in my hand. No. Sometimes mistakes are just happy accidents. This is quite the match. Jeez, two of this guy is so lucky. This card is so good. Even if it's just a two four. Our decks are really high quality. Is uh, Chasm Dork enough here? My opponent goes to two. Uh, and they can block one, two, three, four things. Four, yep. Chasm Dork is exactly enough to not die. Good, that was a blank. <laughs> Uh, it's a clutch. Oh no, no! Um, so Are both my touches gone this game? Yep. Okay. So I have to attack with these. So this is going to get... So let's, let's think this through. Uh, f 
my opponent loses four creatures here, guaranteed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a 10, 8, so it's going to live. If I jam with these, so if I jam here, my opponent goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2. That doesn't get me anywhere because these creatures just get into brawls on this and this. And this. Okay, my opponent has good blocks across the board. But this takes me out of dead on board range, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go to three. So my opponent can't alpha. Oh, gosh. This might have been a mistake, though. Because if I leave back a two, three, then I can kill the breaker. I keep menace ally. I probably keep the two, three, then. Oh, no, I die then, because my opponent gets to keep three power of creatures. Right. So this attack puts me to exactly not lethal, but it puts the breaker to exactly live after the attack, and it puts me on... Draw the one remaining healer for the win? Three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, my opponent's debating whether they trade a Herald off to kill the 2-3, or they throw away a Spawn Token, or Scion. That's fine. I'm okay with this. This is definitely the correct play on their part because it means that I literally just have a Night Watch in play next turn. And that's it. Wish I had turn against. That was last draft I passed one early, not this one. So I think the attack is for my opponent like one, two, three. I have an extra card in hand. So I guess there's no need. Depends on if they drew a creature, they attack me for five here. Actually more. There's you'd rather deal the damage than ingest me. Oh, well, though they're at two, yeah, you're so, if you leave this back, you die to turn against, I guess you die to turn against regardless, because that gets taken. All my stuff dies. I would have drawn Blighted Gorge if I had it. So sad. Claustro Healer. Oh, no. Uh, no, I didn't have the mana for that. Or no, I did! If I drawn these in the other order, I win! No! Let's see what other outs I had. I think I was literally one out at that point. Okay, so definitely want more X4 nonsense, or 4-3 nonsense in this matchup.
and I want reckless cohorts against stupid two fours. Um, I think this looks about right. I might want this bone splinters for the big thing, but eh, I'm not. If, if the big thing gets into play, whatever. I've got Myers Malice for the big thing. And, well, Death does. Yeah. I'll jam it. No shame in beating down with a 2 2. Probably some small amount of shame, but. This hand got way better with that draw. Kindy. Interesting. Um. This is the correct play. My opponent is representing a slightly less synergistic draw. So it seems like just getting the like hardest to disrupt or, like the, the biggest like immediate presence of stuff is the most important. Even if it throws away a damage off the healer. So spires here. I don't see a reason to play into a uh, spell shrivel here. I'd rather just disregard something here. Yeah, that's fine. Is the right card here. Do I lead on healer or assassin? Healer does two, I think, is the right play. I don't think there's a single blue instant that blows me up to spell if that's in my opponent's deck. Yeah, I should tap out this turn. This deck looked really good this game. Uh, yeah, th this is like kind of a... This card just does some really stupid stuff if your deck wants to play multiple two drops. So... Just keep an eye out for that and know what decks this card actually goes in. Bet my opponent had Spell Shrivel in their hand this whole time. Uh, yeah, nothing really saves my opponent here. So, yeah, I think I'm just supposed to assassin. Ob, 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 ob. Oh, horribly awry? I just attack with everything. I can encampment something if needed.
Hooray! I did the thing. If the thing is playing 100% allies and removal. It's not a bad thing to do.